Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this episode of our BPCS Use Case Series, we're going to be talking about adding and tagging documents to a Salesforce account. Now, the business challenges we're going to be addressing are users need to be in Salesforce. They need to be able to add new documents to an account. They need to easily tag the new documents for searching. And we all know users love adding metadata, so we need to make this tagging process very simple. And we want to access a single document from different client IDs. In other words, store the document once, but associate it with multiple client IDs. Let's see how we address these business challenges. Here we are in Salesforce, and we are at the MSI Financial account, and we want to add some documents to this account. So I've got an email that showed up with three documents. When I grab these three documents and bring them right over, just drag and drop right from my email into box. Now that I've uploaded my documents, let's go off and tag them. I'll come up here to the panorama button. You'll notice I'm presented with the three documents that we uploaded and that they automatically each received the account name, the account number, and a doc type of unclassified. The reason they have the doc type of unclassified is in this example, there's only three files in this folder. However, there could be 50 or 100 files in this folder. We want to make it easy for you to get to the documents that need to be tagged. So we assign the unclassified doc type. So you can come here, choose unclassified, hit search, and it'll only show you the three documents that need to be tagged. Now, let's go off and tag these documents. I come up here and I hit profile. And of course, I'm presented with my document. You'll see it's got the account name and account number automatically assigned. Let's assign the client IDs. Now, this list could be quite lengthy. So I want to be able to simply type the number, all right, and get to my particular ID. There it is. I want to add another one. Let's add... And that's that number, great. And then the last one to add, I'm just type part of the string. You'll notice it finds the appropriate ID. Instead of typing C, I just typed 567, it found it. I have now assigned the three client IDs to this particular file, enabling me to search for this file on any of those client IDs. Now my doc type, let's go off and assign master service agreement. There's other metadata I can add as well. I could also annotate the document or add comments, but right now I just want to hit save and next. Save and Next will save the file, any annotations or comments that were made, as well as update the metadata to the document and then present me with the next document. In this case, a non-disclosure agreement. So, of course, I've got my name and account number automatically assigned. We're going to go off and assign our client ID. We'll assign the C12367 and we'll assign the C12345. All right. And again, the doc type in this case is a non-disclosure agreement. Save and next to again, save the document, any comments or annotations, as well as the metadata and get to the final document, which is of course a regional sales report. So for this one, I'm just going to add the C55678. There it is. And my doc type is regional sales report. You'll notice it says save, not save and next because it's the last file in my list. You'll notice all the metadata has been saved, my client IDs and doc types, all right? Now, if I want to search any of these, I can type in again my client ID, one, two, three, four, five, all right? And I hit search. And there's two documents here, the master agreement and the non-disclosure. I can also search on The 12367 client ID. And I still find that master services agreement. Again, looking under that different client ID. So it's that simple to go off and add your metadata and, of course, search on the documents. Let's recap the business challenges we addressed. Well, we showed that the users can stay in Salesforce, they can add new documents to a Salesforce account, they can easily tag those documents for searching later and they can access a single document from different client IDs. So what are your next steps? Well, it's time to reach out to MicroStrategies so we can help you like we help our other clients.